How did the Israelites get out of Egypt? Was it by strength of God's hand? How did they get manna? Was it by strength of God's hand? How did the water come out of the rock? Was it by strength of God's hand? But what were the Israelites doing the whole time? Crying out to go back to Egypt. Crying out for the flesh. And so God said, these people are not remembering. Let me give them this law to teach them, not by strength of their hand, but by strength of my hand. That's why He gave it. But we corrupted it. That's why the Pharisees, when they taught the law, it was completely wrong. Isaiah said a lawgiver was coming out of Zion. Who do you think that was? Jesus. And so Jesus was the one that was anointed with the rabbi's anointing to preach what the law really said. The Shemitah, I said. He had Shemitah, one with authority to interpret the law. And so Jesus comes, he sits on the mount, the Sermon of the Mount. Where do you think he's getting everything he preached there? The law and the prophets. And what did he interpret to be there? Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the king. Who's the meek? Those who say, not by strength of my hand, but by strength of God's hand. Those that say, I'll be exalted by God's hand and not by my own hand. That's the meek. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Those that say, I don't possess the ability to give myself life. God will have to give me life. They will inherit the earth. That's how Jesus interpreted the law. And then the Pharisees would have said, you're interpreting the law wrong. You're destroying the law. And then Jesus would come and say, think not that I'm destroying the law. I'm fulfilling it, which is Jewish slang for, no, I'm not interpreting the law incorrectly. I'm actually interpreting it correctly. This is what the law always said. You couldn't see it. And so the term destroy the law meant to interpret it incorrectly. The term fulfill the law meant to interpret it correctly. Jesus came as the prophet Moses said would come. And Jesus came and interpreted Deuteronomy for them. And so the law was never the problem, man. Right. Listen to what Paul says the law. The law is not sin. Well, then how could it be what was killing us? Is it sin that brings death or the law? Sin. Sin brings death, not the law. Paul come and said the law is not against the promises of God. If it's not against the promises of God, then how can it be against us? Paul come and said that the law was a shadow of the good things that would come. The law is actually the shadow of Jesus. If Jesus was standing here right now, we could see his shadow on that wall. Now, do we think his shadow would be killing us? Or could we even be healed by walking in his shadow? You see? Do you see how that works? And so we, yes, it's true. We're not living by the works of the law. Yes, it's true. We don't perform anything for blessing in life. But that's not what the law ever said. 